Okay, so my last video was about Showbox not working and it still is not working, but I had a lot of comments on the video thanking me for showing them a new app that is working. But I also had a lot of people saying that, you know, the app was crap, it buffers way too much and there was no solution for fixing Showbox. So let's talk about what is actually going on with Showbox and why it isn't working and show you another alternative, which isn't Catmouse, that has a lot more 4K links. And for those of you that absolutely swear by Showbox as the sole app that you use, I am determined to show you that there is better out there. Just a real quick message before we get into today's video. At the end of this month, we have Black Friday coming up. And that means one thing, super duper savings. And it's the time where all the VPN companies plow in their best ever discounts. Now, I've managed to get my hands on some of the discounts that are already available and they all will be finishing by the end of this month and some going into next month. So I'm going to leave a link down below to a blog post that will have all of the VPN deals that you can get for Black Friday, which are available from today. And you can save around 60%, 70 and in some cases, even 85% off a VPN, making it super cheap. So again, I'll leave that link down below. But of course, if you guys want to remain anonymous online and protect your IP address when streaming, then now is the time. Go and grab yourself a massive discount on me. So we are back again. Again, welcome hope you are well and yes it's about showbox it still is not working we're gonna go over the issues of what's going on and why it isn't working I'm also gonna to touch on the last video so about two days ago I think it was I released a video about showbox not working and I titled it there's a fix maybe I shouldn't have but the solution in that video was an alternative app to use rather than Showbox. And that app was Catmouse. It's a great app in my opinion. But of course, I had some comments saying it was no good and it buffers. Firstly, the buffering has nothing to do with the app. It's either the source it comes from. And of course, with Catmouse, you can choose as many sources as you want. So if one isn't suitable, you can simply back out and move to the next link. That's the good thing about Catmouse. You have that flexibility to choose other links, which you don't on Showbox, which is why I do like the app. Or the other issue is your device or your connection. That's simply it. <laughs> it literally has nothing to do with the app itself. It'll be the links where it comes from. Now, Showbox, of course, is still not working. In fact, there's quite a few apps out there that are not working because as we know, Streamango and Openload, the biggest hosters or providers where a lot of the links are scraped from, they were taken down. So you will see a lot of links removed from different streaming apps. Now, my guess is that Showbox used either Streamango or most probably Openload to scrape the links. And maybe that's where the issue comes from. But if we go over and open Showbox, you will get an error message, which will say connection error, check your internet connection. Now it has nothing to do with your internet connection. The Showbox app is down itself. And if we head on over to Reddit, you can see the official tweet from the real Showbox saying our servers are still down. This setback hit harder than the dev team expected and we just wanted to let you know that we're still working hard to get it fixed for you also thanks for the support recently we've been getting thousands of new supporters in addition to the rumors that showbox has been taken down or whatever they haven't they are working on a fix but of course it's hit them hard and my guess is it's related to stream angle or open load going down but i could be wrong Anyway, whilst this is going on, obviously people are searching Google for the reason why the Showbox is not working or why they're getting this internet connection error. And that is because the app is simply offline. Now, whilst that's offline, I guess a lot of you are going to be 
wanting to have a look for additional apps and stuff that's out there and in the last video which I'll link up in a card I shown you guys cat mouse which is an app that's got movies and shows and when you click the movie you've got a list of different links you can choose from and quite a few of you appreciated that video I had over a thousand subscribers from that video so thank you all for subscribing and thank you all for your comments and for the ones of you that did not like the video or did not like cat mouse there is also another app I would recommend which is pretty much the same and a lot of the apps out there that you download will be scraper apps unlike showbox there is a few one-click apps but I prefer to have the choice of different HD links 4k 1080 720 well I'm going to show you one of my favorite apps which is called cinema it's a clone of a, an old app and for me it's the app that has the most 4k links and a lot of 1080 links as well so it works really really well so first let's download it if you're on fire stick head on over to the downloader app and if you're on Android or Android TV box go on over to Chrome and head on over to streamdroid.org and when you're here you're going to head on over to downloads now i know the site went offline the other day whilst a lot of you was downloading the apps the server just couldn't handle the traffic so it's been migrated over to another server so you shouldn't have any issues anyway on the downloads page scroll down to movies and shows and we're going to go to cinema apk loads of different apps on there you can download if you want to check some of the others out because there's loads out at the minute and they all work very well anyway after clicking the download link the download will start after around 20 seconds and whilst you're waiting you can follow me on twitter and of course make sure you're subscribed to this channel you'll get the pop-up simply click ok to save the app to your device and then once the file has finished downloading of course we're going to go and open it and then follow the install and then it's done we'll allow the storage access for any downloads of course we'll accept the disclaimer and click Close the change logs and you can see there are quite a few changes to the app now it looks very similar to showbox of course there's a lot more settings features and functions the first thing I do is add my real de Brid, and if you're interested I'll leave a link in the video description I'm gonna pick an old film because of course some of the new ones are probably just cameras in fact that was one of the comments I had on the cat mouse video that it was just someone recording it in the cinema with their phone yes you might get that you get that on all different apps there cameras when you're selecting the links you'll have your cameras the hd sometimes are cameras as well and you have 720 1080 and 4k so they will be separated like that of course you want a 1080 link or whatever your internet can handle but when you click a link you will get the trailer you can download it you can watch the video you can mark it as watched add it to your favorites and then you'll get a list of all the different links that's available now this is really slow because i'm using an emulator for android on my pc so it's not as fast as it would be on your device but look, you've got all your 480 links, you've got loads of HD there, you've got 720, you've got 1080, and of course your real debrid links, and more will come, but I don't want to keep it loading, just for the sake of the video, but of course I'm always going to use my real debrid links, because they are better, more reliable, and after clicking the link, the video will play, it's as easy as that. Now if one of the streams is buffering, you simply back out the film and select another link because they are all different links from different hosting providers. So some will be better than others. Of course, Real De Brig is gonna offer you better and faster links, which I would recommend, but that's up to you. That's another one of my favorite apps because there is a lot of HD or 1080 links on the app rather than just the one stream or one link you get on showbox when you click it so in summary yes showbox is still down the network error is nothing to do with you it's to do with showbox itself there are other apps out there we've covered two of them and i'm going to keep bringing you more but if you want to get all the apps that's available of course head on over to streamdroid.org link will be in the video description go to the downloads and take a look at some of the downloads that's available on there there's tons of different apps free vpns launchers go and have a look anyway if you are new consider subscribing ring that bell icon to get notified of 
of future videos and of course thank you to all of you that have subscribed to the channel recently and for your kind comments on the videos anyway i'll be back with another one soon so i will see you in the next one